You know, I think you missed the point of the question. The point of the question was not to say that we are absolutely dead certain about the characteristics of global warming and climate change. I think what I would put into question is the dead certainty of the deniers that man has had nothing to do with climate change. To me, that is being arrogant. The scientists full well understand the uncertainty involved with the science behind it and are willing to accept new data when it comes in and understand that there's always going to be some ambiguity, some unresolved issues with it. But people who deny climate change are saying, absolutely, man has absolutely nothing to do with it. That's a big hoax. And to me, that is arrogant <laughs> and that is seriously misguided. All right, so you missed the point of the question. It's not whether or not scientists are able to uh, reserve some amount of uncertainty about global warming. It's whether the deniers can reserve some amount of uncertainty whether or not it exists. <laughs> there will always be some degree of uncertainty. And the question is, what do you do in the face of uncertainty? Do you act in the best interest to try and minimize the risk? Or do you just ignore it completely and say, oh, it's just all a hoax. We can ignore it completely. It's no risk at all because it's all a hoax perpetrated by these scientists. <laughs> that is what denial is all about. And that's what I can't stand. I can stand uncertainty. I can understand <laughs> ambiguity with the results and the data and everything else. What I can't stand is this, this attitude that it must be a hoax and that we have to do absolutely nothing about it. To me, that is the essence of denial and that's what deniers do. That's all for now.